we've got here our Dell MSA 20 single monitor arm, along with everything we need to actually set this up to run a monitor like this one over here on an arm instead of using the regular stand that it comes with. So we're gonna need this Allen key from our instruction bag. First thing we wanna know is does the clamp at this default point give us enough clearance to get over our desk or do we need to move these bolts down lower to the lower mounting point? It's a really easy way to check. We'll just pop that on there, no need to tighten it up yet. And we'll stick it over the desk and have a look. Grab our clamp and what we want to do is just slot that over the desk, see if it fits. And it does, awesome. If it's not quite there, you might want to unscrew this clamp all the way down, make sure you've got full clearance. If your desk is wider than this, you can undo these bolts here, move them down to these two holes, put it on there instead. I'm happy with this location, so I'm going to put that on and then we're going to tighten these up. That's done now, so that's nice and tight. That doesn't wobble or move around or anything like that. So we're ready to clamp this over the desk. I'm gonna put mine here. Once that's on where we want it to go, slid all the way forwards onto the desk so that that back plate is right up against the back of the desk. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. That's staying nice and firm, not moving around anywhere. But for the arm, we want to put the base piece on first, which is this piece. So this big round hole at the bottom with this lock option. So this is the piece that does not have the monitor mount on the top of it. So we're going to take this end, which has this lock symbol on it, and we're just going to it onto this round piece. Now it should spin freely, we should be able to lift it up. The whole point of this little lock here is to lock it in place and dictate how far it can spin. So right now it's a full 360 degree free spin. We can move it to lock it at 180 degrees, which means it can only spin 180 degrees or full 360 degree lock. That means it can spin the whole way around, but it's locked on so it can't be lifted off of the mount. On the top of the arm here, we actually have this plastic piece. This piece comes off, so just slide it downwards and that'll slide straight off. And in here, we have a couple of clips, so that's for our Allen key. So that lets us keep the Allen key there nice and safe in case we do need to adjust anything with it later on. Now in here, we also have our cable holder. So these are actually some, I believe they're metal pieces that are fairly thin for sliding your cables under. So they're gonna come down from the top section up through this hole in the bottom of this one, and then down through those and out those little grooves that this exposes. So in other words, the cables are then gonna come out those grooves and then hopefully down your desk and they're all nicely hidden. Nice, right? Leave that bit off. For now, so that bit goes on. Well, next up, we want our upper arm piece. This piece, same deal. We just want to take the bottom of it, the opposite end from the monitor mount, slide it over that round piece. And that's it, we've got these locks here. Currently it's unlocked. We can lock it at 180 degree spin, so it'll only spin maximum 180 degrees. Or we can go right up to the top to give it 360 degree motion. And that'll allow it to spin full 360 degrees. It won't go completely around like the base will. It will stop, but you can go from one side all the way 360 degrees to the other. Now this one does have some cable management stuff in it as well. So on the underside here, this piece comes off. And that's just some little plastic clips of that in. And again, we've got this cable management system here. So if you run the cables down through those pieces, they'll pop out underneath, come down through that hole there and down through that cable management system, keeping it neat and tidy. Now this top piece in here controls tension for the angle that this sits at, which is going to be affected by the weight of your monitor. So you can slot this plastic piece off the bottom and then right down the bottom here, we do have an Allen screw, which we can use our Allen key to adjust that tension. And we can see here this little scale here that tells us how heavy it is, what the tension is looking like and so on and adjust it. This is gonna work for the needs of our monitor. So we've got our arm all set up here. It's all ready to go. How do we actually put that monitor on here. For any quick mount monitors from Dell, it's really straightforward. Essentially, we just want to unplug everything from that monitor, which I'll do now. Release the quick mount from our stand, slot the monitor onto the quick mount system on the monitor arm. So this is the back of my monitor. We've got our Dell quick mount system. So releasing it from its regular stand, it's really just a matter of pressing that button in there and tipping it off the stand so it comes off really easily. What we're going to do is line the teeth up on the monitor arm here with the grooves in the top of this monitor. So we're going to do it at an angle. So you can see there, we've kind of lined up with those teeth. It's a little bit awkward from this angle, so I'm going to use you guys as a mirror. And then when we tip the monitor down, it's going to clip in like it just did. So easy release, we just press that button and we can tilt back out to release it if we need to. Put it back on, that's it, we're on. That's our monitor from behind, all set up, and the arm spins pretty freely with it. Under the weight of this monitor, it is falling, which means we may need to tighten up our tension. Now we're currently on the lightest tension, and since it's drooping a bit under the weight of this monitor, like so, you can see it falling slowly, we wanna tighten this up. On the back, we've got our little Allen screw here that I mentioned before. So we just wanna use our Allen key that came with the monitor, and we're gonna tighten it. 
And as we do that, we'll see this little gauge move. So we can see it going upwards towards the heavier end of the scale. I've adjusted that rather than being right at the lightest end now. It's just under halfway to the middle. And if we lift that up, it's now holding it quite nicely. I'm pretty happy with this now. So we can take the cover once we're happy and slide it back over our tension system here. And that'll just clip straight in like that. We don't need our arm anymore. So I can go back in the clips in the cable protector. And now it's just a matter of putting our cables through everywhere, plugging them into our monitor, running them through the cable management system and placing these covers. One of the things that I really love about these monitor arms is when it comes to plugging your cables in, you can just do this. That makes it so much easier. Look at that. You can just get in here. You can see everything. You can plug it in. And so this makes it so much easier to see your cables and what you're plugging in. You can't quite see it on the camera there at this angle, but I can see it's so easy. It makes it so much better for plugging everything in. Then you just run it through your cable system. I hope you found this video helpful. More information and pricing on these monitor arms. Make sure you check out the affiliate links down in the description. And of course, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.